brush out your knotty ass hair. As you can see, my hair is on like day three of not washing it. It's pretty greasy. It's gonna have to be up the next few days. Okay. This look is pretty simple. By pretty simple, I've been doing this for a while, so it doesn't take me too long to do. Um, it will take you a little long to figure out how to get the bun perfect. Basically what I'm gonna do is put my hair in just like a normal ponytail. It's like a perfect way to start out. And then I have this, um, it's really just like a teasing brush. And I am just gonna hold my hair up like this and start pulling out baby hairs. I don't like them to go anywhere past my chin because that's kind of like 90s and I'm not really like trying to look like that right now. And I'm also gonna pull out some pieces in the back. And I'm gonna take one hair tie and tie my hair into a ponytail. Again, your hair doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about this. I don't have to keep it all tight in all areas. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that tight while loosening up a little bit of these pieces. I have a few different types of bobby pins. I have one that I like to call a big girl bobby pin. This is like a humongous bobby pin that I like to place first to really put most of the hair in it. And then I just have normal blonde bobby pins. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this, just start wrapping it around like that. And then really just taking it, tucking it in certain places. There we go. And once I find a look that I wanna stick with, I really like the way this looks. Um, I'm gonna take the big girl bobby pin and place it where I feel like I have the most hair, which is in the back. Just pin it down. And depending on how much hair you have, it depends on how many bobby pins you need. I have a lot of hair, so I have to use like half a pack, I feel like. Um, so from there, I'm really just gonna be maneuvering this bun around, pinning down what I like. And what's cool about this bun is it's kind of loose, so you can really figure out how you wanna shape it after you twist it. So I need to use about like four to five pins for this hair and a scrunchie, nothing too crazy. And then the loose hair is give it that extra cute little feeling and boom, you're done. If you guys like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see anything in the future. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and thumbs down, but don't forget to subscribe so you can thumbs down the rest of my videos too. If you guys like this entire look, I actually have a makeup tutorial um, on this exact face that I just filmed. Thanks for watching Edmontainment. You can find me on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on my other social media networks. If you guys have anything else that you guys would like to see me do or you like any of my other Instagram looks, please let me know. I would be more than happy to show you guys how to achieve those looks. Oh my God, I just broke a nail. That's not cute.